this is Rachel with Good Behavior Beginnings, and this is another video in our series, How to Incorporate ABA into Homeschool. Today's topic is data collection. So when we think data collection, if you're thinking of it from an ABA perspective, you're probably thinking running around with a clipboard, taking trial by trial data, recording level of prompts and corrects and those sorts of things. Um, from an education perspective, you might be just thinking of grades that go in the grade book or assessing things um, once a quarter for a progress note. What we're doing for homeschool is a little bit in between. Both of those are data collection and ours is sort of a blend. So one of the things that we do for data collection is basically fidelity to our teaching plan. So each week we have a plan for what we're going to do during the day. And we have a sheet that tracks whether or not we got to it. So here's an example. The check marks mean that we got to it. We completed that activity. The circles mean that we missed it. We did not do that activity that day. I will say that the squares um, were probably just where I needed to go back and mark it because we did do those things on those days. So we just want to track to see what we're doing. We found out that trying to do a game during the week or during the school day didn't make sense. So that first week we never did it and now we're removing it from our plan. Instead, we're going to do games in the evening after dinner as a family, and it'll be separate from our school routine, but the games will still be educational and potentially tie in with uh, lessons that we were working on during the school day. Um, as far as what exactly we're doing, we have a lesson plan that writes out, you know, which ones we're going to do, which lesson for each day, which activities from the curriculum that we're using are we doing on those days. And this one, we take notes on whether or not we got to it, if we shifted it a little bit, if we switched the days around, or if we only got to part of it. We make notes there. So on a day-to-day -day basis, these types of data collection allow us to see if we are skipping something that we need to then spend more time on later in the week, or if something is just not valuable to our homeschool routine at this point in time. It also helps us plan for the next week. So I can look, I can see how much we're getting to, I can see when lessons kind of end up being too large for one day or when we plan a couple of hands-on activities on the same day that ends up taking up more time. So then I can plan ahead the next week, adjust my programming, my lesson planning, and make sure that the following week goes smoother. There are other things that we do save. We save products of the work, work samples, um, and we will be giving grades um, every quarter and it's going to I'll come up with a system for that that's still a work in progress but we do have we will have a system for grading and scoring those permanent products so that's another example of how to incorporate ABA and specifically data collection into your homeschool thank you